Whitney here, GM and daughter with Pipe Wrench Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, Inc. to talk about why your hot water may not be as hot in the winter. In the summer, in our area, the incoming water temperature averages about 65 degrees, whereas in the winter, the average incoming temperature averages closer to 40 degrees. Note that the incoming water temperature, which runs through the piping underground, differs from temperature you feel in the air around you. Now, let's look at the science of how the temperature difference affects your water heater. Knowing the temperature difference and the gallons of the water in the water heater, we can do the math to scientifically determine how much more energy is required to heat up your water in colder weather. First, it's important to understand what a British thermal unit, or BTU, is. A British thermal unit refers to the amount of energy required to raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. So there are 8.33 pounds of water in a gallon, which means it takes 8.33 BTUs to raise one gallon of water one degree. As an example, let's compare the energy required to heat a 50 gallon water heater in cooler weather versus warmer weather. Keep in mind that the safest maximum temperature setting for your water heater is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, 50 gallons of water times 8.33 pounds equals 416.5 pounds of water in your water heater. So, in colder weather, your water heater needs to raise the temperature by 80 degrees to reach the desired 120 degree hot water temperature. And in warmer weather, your water heater needs to raise the temperature by only 55 degrees. The difference between the two is 25 degrees. To raise your water temperature in the tank an additional 25 degrees, multiply 416.5 pounds of water by 25 degrees, and you'll see that your water heater requires 10,412.5 additional BTUs to heat the same amount of water during colder weather. Your water heater works 45% harder in colder weather. Now, if your water heater is struggling in colder weather, the issue can be a heating element that needs to be replaced. Your preferred plumber can help you determine if this is the issue. In addition, the built-up sediment inside your tank can negatively impact your water heater's efficiency. Water heater manufacturers recommend having your water heater professionally flushed to remove that built-up sediment inside your tank. If it's been a while since you've had your water heater professionally flushed and maintained, you'll want to schedule that service with a plumber as soon as possible to prolong the life of your unit, as well as to inspect the components to ensure all is working properly. Finally, the typical lifespan of a water heater is around 12 to 15 years, depending on how regularly it has been maintained. If your water heater is struggling to deliver hot water and it's an older unit, it may be time to budget for a replacement. If this is the case, we do offer free estimates for water heater replacement. We hope this video helped to understand how a water heater works harder in colder weather and what you can do about it. If your water heater isn't performing well for you and you're located in the Knoxville, Maryville, Oak Ridge, or Lenore City area, we can help. Call 865-583-3957 or you can book online at pipewrench.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive other useful homeowner tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.